What if the most powerful weapon in modern warfare wasn't a jet, a missile, or a tank, but a small unmanned aircraft with a camera? Decades before today's armed drones dominated the skies, Israel quietly changed warfare forever with one breakthrough system. This is the story of how a simple reconnaissance drone called the Tataran Mastiff turned Israel into a global drone superpower. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Before drones became a common sight in modern conflicts, warfare relied heavily on manned aircraft, ground patrols, and risky reconnaissance missions. Pilots had to fly deep into hostile airspace, soldiers had to cross dangerous terrain, and intelligence often arrived too late to change the outcome of a battle. In the 1960s and 1970s, military commanders around the world faced the same problem. How to see the battlefield clearly without risking lives? Israel, surrounded by hostile borders and facing constant security threats, felt this challenge more intensely than most nations. Every mission carried high stakes and every loss mattered. This pressure pushed Israeli defense planners to think differently. Instead of asking how to build bigger jets or stronger weapons, they asked a revolutionary question for that time, what if aircraft didn't need pilots at all? This mindset laid the foundation for one of the most important military innovations of the 20th century. The answer to that question would soon take shape as a modest looking unmanned aircraft, one that would quietly rewrite the rules of reconnaissance and forever change how wars are planned and fought. The Tataran Mastiff was developed in the late 1970s by Tataran Electronic Industries at a time when unmanned aircraft were still considered experimental toys by many military powers. Unlike today's drones, the Mastiff was simple in design, small in size, and focused on one critical mission, real-time intelligence. It was built to fly over enemy territory transmit live video back to operators on the ground and and return safely without risking a single pilot this concept alone was revolutionary the mastiff used electro optical cameras and radio data links that were advanced for their era while it didn't carry weapons its true power came from information for Israel, intelligence has always been a strategic lifeline, and the Mastiff promised exactly that. Eyes in the sky, available on demand. At first, even within Israel, there were doubts. Could such a small, unmanned aircraft survive real combat conditions? Could it deliver reliable intelligence? These questions would soon be answered not in test ranges, but in real conflict. The Mastiff was not just a new aircraft, it was the first step in a completely new doctrine of warfare. The true test of the Tataran Mastiff came during real military operations, most notably in the early 1980s. For the first time, Israeli commanders could observe enemy positions in, in near real time without sending pilots into danger. The Mastiff flew reconnaissance missions that revealed troop movements, radar placements, and defensive layouts. This intelligence allowed decision makers to act faster and smarter than their adversaries. What made this especially groundbreaking was timing. Instead of relying on outdated maps or delayed reports, commanders could adjust plans while operations were still unfolding. The Mastiff didn't just collect data, it transformed how that data was used. Enemy air defenses that once relied on surprise were now exposed. Troop concentrations could be monitored continuously. The psychological impact was also significant. Opponents knew they could be watched at any moment, even if they couldn't see the aircraft above them. This operational success proved that unmanned systems were not the future, they were the present. Other nations began to notice, but Israel was already several steps ahead. The success of the Tataran Mastiff forced a major shift in military thinking, both inside Israel and around the world. Traditionally, air power revolved around speed, firepower, and pilot skill. The Mastiff introduced a new priority, 
information dominance, Israel realized that controlling the flow of intelligence could be more decisive than raw firepower alone. This led to a new doctrine where drones became central to planning, surveillance, and battlefield awareness. Instead of acting blindly, forces could now operate with clarity. Missions became more precise, casualties were reduced, and resources were used more efficiently. The Mastiff showed that unmanned aircraft didn't need to replace jets, they needed to support them by feeding real-time intelligence to pilots, artillery units, and commanders. The drone became a force multiplier. This mindset would later define modern network-centric warfare. Israel didn't just build a drone, it built a system of thinking where information was the most valuable weapon. That shift is one of the key reasons Israel surged ahead of other nations in unmanned technology. The Tataran Mastiff became the foundation upon which Israel built an entire unmanned aerial vehicle industry. Lessons learned from its design, operation, and limitations directly influenced later drones, such as the Scout Searcher and eventually the Heron series, Engineers improved endurance, data links, sensors, and reliability, but the core concept remained the same persistent surveillance with minimal risk. Israel began investing heavily in drone research, training specialized operators, and integrating UAVs into every level of military planning. This wasn't accidental, it was strategic. While many countries treated drones as side projects, Israel treated them as essential assets. As a result, Israeli companies became global leaders in UAV exports. Nations around the world began purchasing Israeli drones or adopting Israeli design philosophies. The Mastiff may have been small and unarmed, but its influence was massive. It proved that Israel could innovate under pressure and turn necessity into technological dominance. Once the effectiveness of the Tataran Mastiff became clear, the global military community took notice. Major powers that had dismissed drones as unreliable suddenly began their own UAV programs. The United States, Europe, and Asia studied Israel's approach closely. Many of today's modern drones trace their conceptual roots back to the principles demonstrated by the Mastiff. Persistent surveillance, real-time data transmission, and unmanned endurance became global standards. Israel, however, maintained its edge by continuously evolving. While others tried to catch up, Israel refined tactics, improved technology, and expanded drone roles. This early start gave Israel decades of operational experience, something no amount of money could instantly replicate. The Mastiff didn't just influence technology, it influenced strategy worldwide. It marked the beginning of an era where drones would shape conflicts, intelligence gathering, and national security planning across the globe. One of the most important lessons from the Tataran Mastiff was that intelligence itself could be weaponized. The drone allowed Israel to see patterns, predict movements, and anticipate threats. Instead of reacting to enemy actions, Israel could stay one step ahead. This capability is especially crucial for a nation with limited strategic depth. The Mastiff helped shift Israeli defense from reactive to proactive. Intelligence gathered by drones informed diplomacy, deterrence, and long-term planning, not just battlefield decisions. Over time, this intelligence first approach became deeply embedded in Israeli military culture. Drones were no longer tools, they were strategic assets. This philosophy later expanded into cyber warfare, electronic intelligence, and space-based surveillance. The Mastiff was the spark that ignited a broader intelligence revolution. Although the Tataran Mastiff was purely a reconnaissance drone, it paved the way for more advanced systems that would eventually include longer endurance, advanced sensors, and broader mission sets. Israel learned how to integrate drones with other forces seamlessly. Air Force pilots, ground commanders, and intelligence analysts all began working from the same real-time picture. This integration created dominance not through brute force, but through coordination and awareness. Modern Israeli drones owe their effectiveness 
to this early integration experience. The Mastiff taught Israel how to think in systems rather than individual platforms. That systems-based thinking is a hallmark of modern military power. Israel didn't become a drone superpower simply by building advanced machines. It became one by understanding how to use them better than anyone else. The Tataran Mastiff arrived at the perfect intersection of necessity, innovation, and doctrine. Israel faced constant threats, limited manpower, and high risks, conditions that rewarded smart solutions. The Mastiff delivered exactly that. It reduced risk, increased awareness, and reshaped decision-making. Over time, these advantages compounded. Experience led to better designs, better tactics, and better outcomes. While other nations followed trends, Israel set them. The Mastiff was the first clear signal that Israel would lead the unmanned revolution. Today's advanced drones may look nothing like the Tataran Mastiff, but their DNA can be traced directly back to it. The Mastiff proved that unmanned systems could be trusted in combat, relied upon for intelligence, and integrated into national defense strategy. Its legacy lives on in every modern UAV Israel operates and exports. More importantly, it changed how wars are planned before the first shot is ever fired. The Mastiff didn't just fly, it taught the world how to see. And in modern warfare, vision is power. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the origins of drone warfare and Israel's rise as a UAV superpower, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more powerful military history and technology breakdowns. Let us know in the comments which drone system you want us to cover next.